What's up guys, hope you're having an awesome day. We are working on the little Toyota again. We're gonna be tackling the front axle in this video. So for what we need to do for starters on this thing is we need to get the truss tacked on, the diff armor, and then our brackets for the hydro assist. Okay, so we have the truss tacked into place as well as the front diff armor on the pumpkin there. What we're working on right now is getting the brackets tacked on for the hydro assist. So you're gonna wanna set your steering uh, nice and straight on this thing and then you need to take your ram and find, figure out what stroke it is or draw it all the way out and measure your stroke and then set this halfway in the stroke and then you can set this up here and tack it into place and you wanna do that that way since you have your steering straight and then having the ram halfway in the stroke that's where it needs to be on the axle that way when you tack the brackets on they're not tacked in in the wrong spot and you won't have your stroke set correctly or the adjustment you need so we're going to mock this up halfway and tack it into place Everything is tacked on the front of this. We got the truss, diff armor, as well as the hydro assist. Um, usually I don't use this style bracket. I like using a tube clamp. That way when you adjust the tie rod, you don't have to undo the ram, but that's gonna work for now. Now we're gonna go ahead and strip this thing down, finish weld everything, clean it, paint it, and start assembling it.
All right, guys, we have the axle housing completely cleaned up and all the metal and stuff ground down that we needed to do to this thing. So it is ready for the third. This is the third we're going to be running. This is one I picked up from East Coast Gear. I just went with a complete built one since I needed to get a new carrier. I wanted to run a selectable locker in this thing. So the selectable locker is a Harup e-locker. I have not ran one of these. I'm kind of excited to try this thing out and see how well it does. Hopefully it holds up strong. Um, I've <laughs> heard these things can break if you rock back and forth with them, but we're going to test that out, see how it does. It is an e-locker. And then we got 529 gears in here to match the rear. Other than that, this thing is ready to go. I'm just going to clean up the surface on this as well as the housing and we can stick this thing in there. Slipped in awesome and good. All right, guys, we have the axle completely painted as well as the third member installed on this thing. Next up is going to be putting it under the front of the Toyota, and then from there, we'll start putting the hubs and that stuff on, driveline, etc. So, we still have quite a bit left to do on this thing. Did get the steering box knocked out on this, so once we get the front axle in, we can start assembling the rest of the hydro assist, and it'll be all finished up. Other than that, that's going to wrap up this video. Make sure you stay tuned for part two of the front axle and all that front end stuff, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.